you alluded to the fact that there was something that happened that got you into law enforcement. Do you feel comfortable about talking about that? Yeah, it's okay now. Okay. Okay. Can you talk? <laughs> I, about uh, um, St. Mary's had flooded and flooded really bad. The 1996 flood was really high, high water, like a hundred year flood. And, uh, so all these fields around here, probably when you're driving in, we're all have water on them. Well, it had froze a really hard. And um, <clears throat> two, my son was a senior at the time and two of his classmates were out messing around on a overflowed field and um, the ice uh, gave way. So they spent a good portion of time trying to struggle to stay above the ice and then they went under. But the thing that probably affected me most is that when I got there, um, we were getting on the fan boat and, uh, the one kid that I knew had just been to my house not long before that. Um, she looked at me and of course I know her and she said, Tammy, please don't stop until you find him. You know, it's now dark, you know, it's ice and mud and sticks and water 10 feet deep. And we're having to use a hook you know, throw a hook out and mm. grapple, grapple back in. And I remember everybody, I can remember it like, it's, like now, um, sitting on that boat and all the rest of the deputies and a couple more, maybe another EMT. I'm not really sure about that, but they're like, come on, Tammy. It's, you know, it's, we've, we've been out here for hours, hours trying to fish him out of the, out of the, water and I just kept looking over on the shore seeing his mom and just going I can't quit yeah. I can't quit yeah I said so you guys got to throw that in one more time you know and so they hawked it out there and uh you know it was a, we were catching a lot of sticks and stuff and so the guy reeling it in you know had a pretty good tug on it now these are 18 year old healthy males. Yeah. yeah. And so he goes, ah, I don't think this is grass. And so it was the heave ho trying to get it in and, you know, his boot come up out of the water and mm. they didn't make it, but you know, it's it still, it was very difficult because, you know, you, mm. your, your son is their same age. They're classmates together and it, you have, not only you have to deal with the whole feelings like I know these people, I know the mom, you know, and what happened is now you have to tell your, you know, your son, like he doesn't, I mean, they understand, they know what death is, but it's like, how does that happen? Yeah. We were pickleball partners this morning and now he's dead. Like, yeah. So you're going through a lot of emotion, a lot, right? Like it's, it's a lot. Okay. It was hard to get over that, and I don't know if I ever did. But, yeah, but I said I'm I'm putting in my deuce. I'm okay. So, so so ultimately, because of that event, somebody convinces you to become a reserve officer. Mm -hmm.